Welcome to this tutorial on Superimpose X. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a photo like this using Superimpose X. I am doing it on an iPad, but you could use an iPhone as well, as the interface is almost the same. Let me start by loading a picture of a road. And now I am adding another layer of photo containing the swimmer. I am going to cut out the person using the magic lasso tool. To learn more about magic lasso or other masking tools, you can refer to the masking tutorial. I am going to shrink the edges of the mask. This will remove any remaining pixels from the surroundings, on the edges. Okay. Now I am going to place him on top of the road. I need to bring back some of the water, to make the photo look more natural. And to do that, I am going to use the feathered brush. And increase the smoothness of the brush. Masking mode needs to be changed to restore because I am going to erase the mask, not the photo. And then, just brush around. This is looking a bit harsh. Let me erase some of the water, to make the edges smoother. As we can see, the water is not matching with the road. The road is black, while the water is blue. We need to desaturate the water to make it gray. But if we do that in the filters section using the saturation slider, the entire layer would become grayscale, including the person. We do not want that. So, we are going to use a more sophisticated tool, called the color range, under editor. These three lines here, on the color circle, indicates which color range is currently selected. Initially, the red color is selected. We can change the saturation of the image, only on the selected range of color. We can also change the hue of the selected color range, without affecting the rest of the colors. Using this slider here, we can tighten the range, to select only a narrow range of colors, just like this. Or we could widen the range, to select more colors similar to red. We can also make the selected range darker or lighter using this slider. We can also invert the selection. Which means, it would select all the colors, except for the range shown in the color circle. That was an introduction to the tool. But let me now get back to the project. I am going to select the blue color, because we want to edit the color of the water. That makes the water gray. But I would also need to make it a bit darker to match it with the road. That looks okay. Let me accept the edits and open the retouch tool, under the brush section. Because, I think I need to make the water even darker. Here I am going to apply the darken brush, on the water. This looks much better. Here is the before and after. The colors on the person, are more vibrant than the new surrounding. I can fix that, by reducing the saturation a little bit, in the filters section. The person still does not quite appear to be the part of the background image. 
his right shoulder has brighter, and the left one has darker tones, than the surroundings. I am going to fix it by changing lights and shadows of the surroundings. To do that, I am first going to add an empty layer, and then clear the mask to make it opaque. Let me change the blending mode of the layer to screen. In the next step you will see how this works. There is a tool called Radial Gradient, under the Editor section. Let me open that tool. Press and hold. And then delete the middle control point. I am going to set the outside color of the gradient, to black. In screen blending mode, black color has no effect. Which means, the outside of the gradient would become transparent. And for the inside, I am going to set orange color. And then bring the ellipse towards the top left corner. This will give the image an orange glow, coming from the top left corner, matching with the person's right shoulder. The glow seems to be a little harsh. So, let me reduce the opacity of the layer. Now, let me add another empty layer. This time however, I am going to set the blending mode to, multiply. I am using the radial gradient tool again. But this time, I am setting the outer color to white. If the blending mode is multiply, white color has no effect. Which means, the outer color of the gradient will appear transparent. And for the inside, I am using black color. Then move the gradient towards the bottom right corner. This will create a shadow on the bottom right, matching with the left shoulder of the swimmer. Again, I am reducing the opacity to make the effect subtle. I think, I should make the road a little darker. Let me select the bottom layer. And then select the retouch brush tool. I am going to use the darken brush to make the road a little darker. Let me also soften the mask of the water. I am selecting the swimmer layer and then selecting the feathered brush. Just a little bit of touch up. And this should do. I am going to use the retouch tool again, to make the water even darker. This is almost done, but we can merge the swimmer into the road, and then apply some filters, to make it look more interesting. This one looks good. Now the swimmer looks to be a part of the road image, and looks more natural. That is all in this tutorial. Thank you for watching.